Hello, my name is Sherman Snyder. I'm with MLC CAD Systems out of the Houston, Texas office. And today we're going to talk about utilizing view sheets to improve our workflow process within MasterCam. The first thing I want to do is look at our view tab. And we're going to go over to our view sheets group here and just toggle on and off our view sheets. And you notice at the bottom left corner of our graphics window, I have my view sheet that was just created here. And we could go inside and rename this view sheet. We'll call it Operation 1. And from here, let's take a look at the graphics window. You see I have multiple components inside of the graphics window here. I have uh, my geometry for my stock, my part file, uh, my stops. And from here, we're going to go over to our managers and we'll look at our planes manager. And I've also created an Operation 1 and an Operation 2 for our uh, planes here, our WCS. So with the uh, Operation 1 plane selected, we're going to go over to our levels and we're going to toggle off our level 2. That's going to be our Operation 2 fixture. Now from here, we can go and you see the Operation 1 tab that we created. We're going to go to our view sheets group and we're going to save a bookmark. And you see the bookmark has been created on top of the view sheet. That signifies that all the settings have been saved. Next, we'll go ahead and set up operation two. And we're going to go to the planes and toggle on our C and T plane as well as our WCS. And put it for isometric. And you see the part, fixture, everything we're going to need for Operation 2. From here, let's go to our View Sheets group and we're going to create a new View Sheet. And we'll call this one Operation 2. Okay. And we're going to bookmark this View Sheet. As you see here, we got the bookmark on top of that View Sheet there. And we're going to Let's toggle between the two operations so we can see the parameters change in here. You see the plane change as well as the level changes. And let's take a look at operation two. And you see that op the level one has been removed and let's look at our plane. And our plane for operation two has been selected as well. All right, so let's go to the toolpaths manager and uh, we're going to have to add some toolpaths. Let's go to the toolpath tab. And from here we can go to our tool manager and let's bring in a two inch face mill. That's fine. Okay. So from here, let's add a simple face operation. And I got it in my C plane with the wireframe. I'm just going to select this top geometry right there. And I got my linking parameters kind of preset up. I'm just going to run with this. But I want you to notice that our Operation 1 planes are already in order. And there's my facing toolpath. So next, let's go to the Operation 2. And we're going to create a simple face pass again. And again, I got my C plane underneath the wireframe here. And I'm going to select the top, say OK. And let's just briefly look at the linking parameters. But now let's go over to the planes. And you see our Operation 2 was automatically loaded just by switching view sheets. And I'll say OK. And now I have the facing operation for Op 2. So this avoids having to go between any of the uh, planes managers, levels managers, all you have to do is preset them up inside of the view sheets and you can use the view sheets to toggle between them all.